Welcome back. The goal of this series is to roleplay, and I am roleplaying Darius, who needs to spend 25 in-game years in the Imperial Army to become a citizen. That means no fiefs, no men under my command, and no choice where I go in the army that I serve. Sit back and enjoy this roleplay adventure. Darius was not a prisoner for long, and like the less fortunate foreign soldiers, Imperial soldiers were to be taken as prisoners of war. The free Imperial empires were constantly trading prisoners. Good money was to be made from the prisoners in times of peace. Darius was thankful for this. However, peace was more like a ceasefire, ready to be broken at any moment. Returned to the Southern Empire's army, he was healthy and back on the front lines. His second year of service had begun. Early spring opened with conflict between the Southern and Western Empires. Darius was a part of some of the first engagements. Being an auxiliary and not a true Imperial citizen, they were often the first into battle to test the enemy's mettle and soften them up. As feared, a Western Empire came in strength and left the Southern auxiliaries fleeing the battlefield. They could have this victory, but it wouldn't be long before the Southern Empire retaliated. The two empires meet again, this time the Southern Empire had a more noteworthy general and better equipped soldiers. Outranged, the Western Empire had no choice but to make the first move. The lions crashed with a thunderous roar. Citizens, once neighbours, were tearing at each other's throats for reasons they had never known. Darius was present, but he didn't see much of the action as his unit were in reserve. Arrows by the thousands were flying overhead, but it was the Southern Empire whose bowstrings were stronger. The Western Empire retreated into the woods. Shortly after, the Western Empire with their tails between their legs asked for peace once again, and not for the last time. With the taste of victory on the lips of every soldier, the Empress declared war on the Northern Empire. With morale high, they marched north. To Mysia. Great city of Mysia used to be a central trading city of the Empire, far from foreign conflict. With the Empire in decay, it now became a tactical point of interest as it rested on the border of the North and Southern Empires. It had to be taken. After several months at siege, the gate was down, the walls were scaled, and a thousand soldiers were in. Darius ignored the looting and evils that the city suffered. Instead, he made his way to the keep, where the last bastion of northerners stood in defiance. Casualties were high, a ceasefire was brokered, and the year was over. It was winter, the armies pulled away from the border, leaving Darius and the other auxiliaries to garrison the wounded city. Wake up in the early hours. Down the stairs of the tavern, out into the world, down some more stairs, down to the market, past the market, down some more stairs, towards the garrison onto the wall to start his patrol, patrol the streets, patrol the walls again. When shift was over, he'd have to go back up the stairs, up the stairs, past the market, up some more stairs, and some more. This was his new routine. Arise, patrol the walls, drink with some comrades, drink with more comrades, keep drinking, up the stairs, down the stairs, back to the tavern we go. The winter was long, and no war was declared. Times of peace made soldiers weak, but Darius's routine kept him strong. He had to keep strong if he was to survive the battles to come. The snow was gone, and the orders were given. All soldiers would head to the south. The war on the Azuri had begun. All soldiers were assured of a swift victory over the Azuri people. They were wrong. The Azuri's were never a threat for the Empire before, but now fractured, they were a formidable foe. 
and they were ready and they came in force. Their cavalry came first. The Imperials were wavering, the Azuri stood strong, they marched across the field sweeping up any that would stand in defiance. Someone had made a huge mistake underestimating the Azuri. But the Southern Empire started this war and it wasn't going away quickly. After many embarrassing defeats, two large armies met outside the city of Husenfolk. The Empire were throwing everything they had at them, but the Azuri were doing the same. The Azuri had well equipped infantry, many archers and heavy cavalry. Our cavalry were better, but they outnumbered our cavalry two to one. Our bows were better, but they outnumbered our bows two to one. I wish I could say our infantry were better, but the Azuri had a newfound wealth and the equipment that matched it. Shields cracked, skulls smashed, swords dented, men wounded, screams filled the air, blood on every man. They took many prisoners. These soldiers were more valuable to the Azuri as slaves. Only few were sold back at an extortionate rate. Darius was lucky to be among one of them. Most of the prisoners were returned either wounded or crippled. It took Darius some time to get back into a fighting fit state again, but he did. After several humiliating defeats, the Southern Empire accepted a ceasefire and the Azuri would reap the rewards of a glorious campaign. Darius was sent back north to Mysia to garrison the city once again. But when he got there, trouble was brewing in the streets. There were numerous riots when the soldiers had left Mysia, and thugs were roaming the streets, attacking soldiers at will. The riots stopped when the garrison returned, but the thugs still roamed the streets. Pickpockets, thieves, all of them. The people of the Northern Empire were not happy, but this was now a southern imperial town and they had to live with it. It was up to Darius and a few other soldiers to snuff out the thugs, find the ringleaders and bring peace back to the Mysian streets. Darius's old routine was almost the same. Up the stairs, down the stairs, go on a patrol. A few more extra broken bones here and there would have to be given out but it was what they had to do to bring order to the streets. Darius and the other soldiers of his unit had to keep watching their own backs. It was dangerous. So he made friends with a man called Yorick the Fish, a Sturgeon Auxiliary. Much like Darius, he had ties to the Empire and wanted to become an Imperial citizen. They spent most of winter and all of early spring patrolling Mysia together. It was much better this way, having someone watch your back. Very quickly, Darius and Yorick became good friends. And shortly after that, they got a good reputation among the people of Mysia, and more so, the thugs on the streets. They made a great team, and just as the city streets were getting safer again, and it was safe not to look over your shoulder every day, the call to arms was surely around the corner, and the new campaign would begin. Darius and Yorick travelled together to the southern lands, stopping where they could at each village. Their companionship grew, and they even asked if they could be in the same unit 
in the campaigns to the south, it was accepted because of their good work in Mysia. As before, all the soldiers of the southern empire were mustering in the south again for a second campaign against the Azuri people. War had begun for the second time. Husun Fulk had to fall. The southern empire wouldn't make the same mistake as last time. This time they called in more soldiers from all over their empire. Everyone heeded the call. They wanted revenge. And the Empress Rhaegar, she would give it them. The empire's renewed ambition surprised the Azuri. The first battle was a clear victory, leading a path straight to Hus and Folk. The siege was epic. The Imperials had many setbacks, but they kept coming. The Azurais were dug in and ready. It was the third attempt at scaling the walls, and Darius was one of them. Heart pounding, he reached the top, and instantly fighting became rife. Him and other soldiers were slaying Azurai left and centre, making room for their comrades to come up into the city. But more Azurai would surely be found on the top of the walls. They cut their way through. Other sections were not so fortunate, and the Azurais held the Imperials off for a long time. It was up to Darius and the men of his unit to break along the walls and create a distraction, and hopefully open the gates. The city was lost, and people would speak of this victory for years to come. However, Darius looked out over the city, and he knew the horrors the Azuri people will suffer will be remembered for even longer. Husun Folk was finally taken, and the revenge the Empire sought was found. All the Azuri from the west to the east would have a bitter taste in their mouth. This would not be the last we see of the Azuri. A garrison will be held here, but all the valuables, loot and armour will be taken back to the Imperial lands. It was good timing the end of this war, because the Northerners, the Westerners and the Southerners all declared war on each other once again, and fighting broke out across the Empire. It was 1089. The three empires were all at war with each other, and it wouldn't stop in a hurry. Darius had served four of his 25 years, there was many more to come. He was no longer a green soldier. Many in his unit respected him. Some of his officers noted his good work in the streets of Mysia and the numerous battles he had faced and lived. 21 more years of service left. He's been imprisoned twice. He's sieged two castles. He's patrolled the streets of Mysia, and he's lost and won numerous battles, and still, he lives. Thank you for watching my friends. Like it if you like it. Comment if you have something to say. I'd love to hear some feedback or what you enjoy. Please subscribe. That's really helpful to me. Until the next video friends. Glory to the Empire.